This is the next question, 1B of model paper 2. Infinite line charges of 5 nanocoulomb per meter along the positive and negative x and y axis in free space. Okay, so this is the data given. We need to be finding the value of E at R is equal to 4 meter. Okay, so this is one more simple question which I guess it is coming for 4 marks. Okay, so this is a direct question. We have a direct formula that is a uh, electric field intensity due to linear charge density, line charge density, okay. Uh, using that formula which we have obtained that is rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon naught. So in, they mentioned it in free space. So the value of permittivity epsilon is equal to epsilon naught, okay. So that's why rho L is equal to, so E is equal to rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon naught R, okay. So substitute the values of rho L. They mentioned it as 5 nano coulomb per meter. So that's why nano means 10 to the power minus 9. So 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 2 into the standard value of pi is 3.14. Epsilon naught standard value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 uh, volts per meter and the value of r here in the mention they mentioned it as at r is equal to 4 meter. So substitute the value of r as 4. Okay. Then e is equal to uh, 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by multiply these terms that is 2 into 3.14 into 8.854 into 4 if you multiply these four terms the answer we are getting is 222.4 into 10 to the power minus 12 so if we divide a 5 divided by 222.4 we are getting 0 0.02224 okay into 10 to the power minus 3 since we bring this 10 to the power minus 12 to the numerator it would be 10 to the power plus 12 so minus 9 plus 12 is plus 3 so that's why 10 to the power 3 so if you want to eliminate this 10 power 3, just shift the points uh, 3 times, that is 1, 2, 3. So we are getting E is equal to 22.24 volts per meter, okay? Yeah, so this was one simple sh straightforward question, okay? You can note it down, okay? Also, if you want to refer the derivation of this uh, expression, that is rho n divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r, this is done in one of the model paper solutions, okay? In one question, you can refer it, okay? Yeah, so this was the solution you can pause the video and note it down okay so this is the next question obtain an expression for electric field intensity due to an infinite line charge along z-axis having a uniform charge of rho l coulombs per meter using Gauss law okay this rho l co corresponds to line charge density okay so we know that solution first we'll draw this surface here cylindrical surface with this outer surface of this uh, in the from with respect to origin and z axis that is rho l and the inner surface area is represented as rho s okay and these are the three axes z y and x then from gauss law we know that psi is equal to q so we have an relation for psi that is psi is equal to surface integral of d dot ds right so in place of psi uh, replace it by q so surface integral of d dot ds okay so now q is equal to surface integral of d dot ds q is equal to uh, then substitute the values for limits of z that is z is from 0 to l okay then uh, phi angle we know that the range of phi is from 0 to 2 phi so that is from 0 to 2 pi into d is replaced by dr r dr okay and in place of ds in uh, for uh, uh, what to say we need to be substituting as r d phi dz okay then uh, r dr you can take it common outside then 0 to l integration of dz 0 to 2 pi integration of d phi so r dr then integration of dz is z substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit that is l minus 0 and 2 pi minus 0 then we are getting our charge q as 2 pi into l into dr into r okay so now from this what we can do is we can uh, sub find the substitute the value of dr that is bring dr to one side and keep uh, all the terms to other side that is q divided by 2 pi rl so ie we can write dr as dr into a cap r vector is equal to q by 2 pi rl ar vector since here q by l is equal to rho l okay we know that the formula for rho l is in general it is delta q by delta l so in this case it is q by l so in place of q by l write it as rho l so our value of uh, d since dr ar vector is equal to d here okay since we are uh, considering uh, uh, with only with respect to r so it is d is equal to dr ar vector so d is equal to rho l divided by 2 pi r into ar vector okay since we have the relationship of uh, electric flux density d is equal to epsilon naught times e since we are doing this in free space so that's why the permittivity is absolute permittivity 
then e is equal to uh, d by epsilon naught so now what we are doing is in this term we are uh, uh, adding one term that is epsilon naught in the denominator side so our expression is for electric field intensity e is rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r ar vector voltage uh, volts per meter okay so this is the expression down here okay so please uh, make a note of this also also if you want to uh, if you want the videos uh, related to gauss law we have uh, separately made you the video of gauss law in our concept section it is available in our playlist so if you want you can see the top right of your screen now you can go to click that and you can go to that video okay it is available so this was the solution please note it down so this is the next question 2c that is find the electric field intensity efi at origin if the following charge distributions are present in free space okay so these are the three sub questions that is point charge of 12 nanocoulomb at p is equal to 2 comma 0 comma 6 the second sub question is uniform line charge density 3 nanocoulomb per meter at x is equal to 2 or we can simply write it as when x is equal to 2 the other two values that is y and z are equal to 0 so 2 comma 0 comma 0 and uniform surface charge density 0.2 nanocoulomb per meter square so they mentioned the surface charge density at x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 0 so minus 2 comma 3 comma 0 okay so one by one we need to be finding the electric field intensities okay first things first the formula of electric field intensity okay uh, e is equal to uh, the charge uh, which is given in the question divided by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon naught because it is in free space so that is uh, the permittivity is uh, absolute in nature so into magnitude of r1 p square into unit vector r1 p okay so this expression is for electric field intensity those who want the detailed explanation about how the expression is coming for electric field intensity we have created the videos for all the conceptual videos for all the chapters in this uh, subject you can note it down so the electric field in intensity concept it might be appearing on the top right of your screen so click to that video and you can refer that okay yeah so let's come back to the question so this is the standard formula first thing we need to be finding the r1p vector that is uh, p is uh, because in the question they have given efi at origin okay so that is this is the, let's consider this as the origin that is point p of 0 comma 0 comma 0 and here is one more uh, point charge q is equal to given in the question that is 12 nanocoulomb and with the direction that is xyz 2 comma 0 comma 6 so it is going towards the origin so that's why the vector is r1p vector okay so that's why the vector r1p is equal to rp minus r1 so r1p is equal to rp that is a 0 minus 2 so minus 2 ax 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 minus 6 is minus 6 az okay so this is the value of r1p then its magnitude that is square root of coefficients that is minus 2 the whole square plus minus 6 the whole square minus 2 whole square is 4 minus 6 whole square is 36 36 plus 4 is 40 so we can split this 40 as 4 into 10 so we know that square root of 4 is 2 so the magnitude of r1p we are simplified answer is 2 root 10 okay so using this magnitude of r1p and r1p we can find out the unit vector of r1p that is r1p divided by magnitude of r1p r1p whatever we have got write it as it is divided by 2 root 10 so here in the numerator side we can take two common outsides so minus 2 into ax plus 3az divided by 2 root 10 so that we can cancel this 2 2 here so the final value of unit vector r1p is minus ax uh, multiply this minus sign minus 3az divided by root 10 okay so this is the unit vector which you have found so now whatever the data is required we have found it out so all the data we need to substitute back in this equation okay so you substitute all the data back in the equation that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in general it is written as 9 into 10 power 9 and the charge in the mentioned in the question is 12 nanocoulomb so 12 into 10 power minus 9 into the unit vector that is minus ax minus 3az divided by square root of 10 divided by magnitude square that is square root of 40 whole square so root and square root be getting cancelled the remaining bit 40 so we can cancel 10 power 9 and 10 power minus 9 okay so remaining term is 12 9 is 108 divided by 40 root 10 into minus ax minus 3az 
so if you divide 108 divided by 40 root 10 the answer is 0.853 into minus ax minus 3az and if you multiply this term and simplified answer we are getting is e is equal to minus 0.853 ax minus 2.559 az words per meter okay so this was the answer for the sub first sub question similarly in the second sub question it is not given directly the charge we need to be first finding the value of charge then we need to be applying the electric field intensity concept okay that is they have mentioned the line charge density of 3 nano coulomb per meter at x equal to 2 or 2 comma 0 comma 0 so in general we know that rho l that is line charge density according to the definition rho l is equal to delta q by delta l right so therefore the value of delta q is equal to rho l times delta l so in order to remove this delta or the derivative part so q is equal to if you want to remove this derivative we need to be integrating this equation so that's why q is equal to line integral of rho l dl vector so in case in, in this case the value of dl here is dx since they mentioned the value the since they mentioned the value of x here so that's why dl is equal to ds the dx in this case and rho l they have mentioned in the question that is 3 into 10 power minus 9 okay so since this is a constant you can take it outside then the integration of dx is x and the limit is from 0 to 2 because uh, we are uh, finding the electric field intensity at origin right so that's why from origin to the point mentioned that is 0 to 2 so that's why the limits of x are from 0 to 2 upper limit minus lower limit 2 minus 0 it is 2 so 3 2s are 6 so we are getting the answer of uh, the charge as 6 nano coulomb okay so now the same thing again we need to be finding the electric field intensity mark this point from origin and here the point of charge where the value of charge just now we have got it as 6 nano coulomb and the point mentioned is 2 comma 0 comma 0 and this uh, it is moving towards the origin so r1 p vector okay so this is the electric field intensity formula okay one by one find the value of r1 p that is r p minus r1 that is uh, minus 2 a x so it's uh, uh, what to say magnitude is uh, square root of minus 2 the whole square that is square root of 4 so square root of 4 is 2 so this is the magnitude so using magnitude in R1P we can find the value of uh, unit vector that is minus 2ax divided by 2. So 2, 2 would be getting cancelled. The unit vector R1P is minus ax vector. Then substitute all the data in this required equation that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in place of that. Write 9 into 10 power 9 into the charge mentioned which we have calculated that is 6 nano coulomb. So we can cancel 10 power 9 and 10 power minus 9 here into the unit vector that is ax vector divided by magnitude square that is 2 square, 2 square is 4, okay. So we can see that here 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, okay. So that's why 9 3s are 27 divided by 2 into ax vector. So 27 by 2 is, uh, here we have minus sign, okay. So 27 by 2 here since it is minus ax, okay. So 27 by 2 is minus 13.5 ax volts per meter, okay. So this is the value of electric field intensity in this case. Similarly, the third sub question. So in the third sub question they have mentioned the value of surface charge density rho s okay that is 0.2 nano coulomb per meter square at x equal to minus 2 and y equal to 3 given the value of z is equal to 0 so minus 2 comma 3 comma 0 also we know from the surface charge density definition rho s is equal to charge per unit area okay so that's why delta q by delta s so delta q is equal to rho s times delta s so in order to eliminate this delta we need to be in integrating with respect to s so s means area surface area so two times integration uh, twice uh, double integration of rho s ds so in this case the value of ds is dx into dy because they have mentioned the values of x and y both the values so that's why dx dy so take this 0.2 into 10 to the power 9 constant outside so uh, uh, differentiation so integration of dx is x and the limits are from 0 comma minus 2 since the value of x is minus 2 and the EFI we are finding at origin to the given points that's why 0, minus 2 and 0, 3. Okay, substitute the limits here. Then here 0 0.2 into 10 power minus 9, upper limit minus lower limit, that is minus 2 minus 0, it is minus 2 only. 3 minus 0 is 3. So 2 3s are 6, 6 into 0 0.2, that is minus 1.2 nano coulomb. So this is the answer of uh, charge which we are obtaining. So using this charge here again we need to be calculating the electric field intensity okay again the same procedure the, from origin that is p of 0 comma 0 comma 0 and the mentioned uh, charge is 1.2 minus 1.2 nano coulomb 
and the points are minus 2 comma 3 comma 0 and it is moving towards the origin so that's why the vector is r1p so this is the electric field intensity formula so r1p is equal to rp minus r1 that is 0 minus 0 minus of minus 2 so that is 0 plus 2 that is 2ax vector 0 minus 3 that is minus 3ay vector and 0 minus 0 is a 0az vector so we can can neglect that so its magnitude that is the coefficient square minus 2 the whole square plus 3 the whole square okay that is uh, square root of 4 plus 9 4 plus 9 is 13 so this is the value of magnitude that is 13 so using the r1p and magnitude of r1p you can find the value of unit vector r1p that is 2ax minus 3ay divided by root 13 okay substitute all the data back in the equation here of electric field intensity that is uh, 1 by 4 by epsilon naught in place of that right 9 into 10 power 9 into the mentioned or the calculated charge here that is 1.2 nano coulomb 1.2 minus 1.2 into 10 power minus 9 so that we can cancel 10 power 9 and 10 power minus 9 divided by magnitude square so square root of 13 square the root and square root be getting cancelled so 13 into the unit vector here 2ax minus 3ay divided by root 13 okay so 9 uh, 1 minus 1.2 into 9 is minus 10.8 divided by 13 root 13 into 2ax minus 3ay so if we divide this term we are getting the answer as minus 0.23 into 2ax minus 3ay and if we simplify this equation this is the final answer which we obtain that is minus 0.46 ax vector plus 0.69 ay vector volts per meter okay so this was the solution for this problem you can uh, note it down pause the video and uh, you can take it down okay